All right. So here it is the original door for this kitchen. Now, this is an MDF core door. It has a thermofoil on top. Basically, this is a cardboard piece of cardboard, or it's a solid piece of cardboard. It's called MDF, medium dens density fiber board. They have UDF, they have different density fiber boards, but basically this is cardboard. This, what you're looking at, is not a finish. It's actually plastic heated up and vacuum sealed on this with the, and it might have been painted afterwards. You can kind of see an orange peel texture. So this, unfortunately, over time is going to fall apart. Anytime this gets any humidity around it, it will start to swell. And then the coating on this, which again is plastic vacuum sealed, it starts to do this. You ready? You see it? So this is why your cabinets are inexpensive. Even though they look great, as easy as that was put on, it's as easy as it will come off. The problem with this is there's nothing stopping this on a regular, and that, was, that, was, that didn't take anything. A little teeny crack in the seam and like five pounds of pressure and ripped this whole face off. There's nothing, there's no adhesive here. This is just, this is garbage. These are Chinese made cabinets. This is what you're seeing. This is why even builder grade, this is builder grade. Um, unless you know or have seen the raw door that you're buying, most likely it has some combination of this going on. And this is really what we have to worry about because the ends, the end panels are all made like this. It's all made like this. Cabinets are not supposed to be made out of cardboard and being able to pull your finish off like that. But unfortunately, through modern technology, this is what people are selling. Just not for us. I definitely don't want to deliver a rippable cabinet. But for an example, this is going to help. So realistically, you could take this back to the thermofoil factory and just get a new finish on there. If you have thermofoil doors, you can just rip the stuff off and you'll have a perfectly machined door as it came out of the factory day one. The problem is once you get this thing wet, it's like a, uh, it's almost like a phone book. You know, it could be dropped off at your front door, two days of rain because you were at the beach when they did drop it off. It's going to look like that frayed up mess. And that's what's going to happen here. It's just going to, it's, it, that's all that's going to happen. It's just going to fall apart. If you're really looking for any refinishing or new construction of, of cabinets or new doors, you want to reface it. You don't want your Chinese cardboard anymore. And you want to, you want an actual real American made maple door and we can make it in any wood, maple, cherry, walnut, oak, you know, we've done, it doesn't matter. You can, we can order the, the wood and make the door in anything. You make the cabinets in whatever you want. Um, this is, this is like the bread and butter. So if this, you're looking for this, go to mycabinetpainters.com, fill out a request form and you can click off. I want refinishing. I want new doors. I want new cabinets you know, even extra stuff. I need somebody to manage my project. I need my floors refinished, the whole gamut. Uh, but for door, for door construction, for new doors, refin or for new refacing, just let us know. We'll come out there and measure. It takes about an hour or so. Doors come in. Uh, we can get usually about three week turnaround. I think right now in the industry, it's about 10 to 14 weeks on anything custom. And this is what the industry considers custom. So if you don't want that and you're looking for something that's actually going to be worthwhile putting in your kitchen, spending money on, uh, then go to mycabinetpainters.com. 